Now, let me introduce different techniques of evaluating limits, and this will be rationalizing. So, what are we talking about here? What is rationalizing? Whenever we have radicals in the denominator of a fraction, we can rationalize the rational expression in order to get rid of the radical down to the bottom. So that's going to be pretty useful in this case because right now, right away, we can't evaluate the limit by plugging 4 in for x. Because if we were to do that, we would get the square root of 4, which is 2, minus 2, which is 0, down at the bottom of the fraction. And we're, we're not allowed to do that. So what I'm going to do is actually multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction, the denominator and the numerator, by the square root of 2, sorry, the square root of x plus 2. Let's see what's going to happen. So up top here, we're just going to have x minus 4 times the square root of x plus 2. For now, I won't actually expand this, but, but the bottom, I will. We have the square root of x minus 2 times the square root of x plus 2. So that's just the limit as x approaches 4. Once I expand the bottom, square root of x times square root of x is the square root of x squared, which is just x. And the square root of x times 2 is just 2x. Or sorry, 2 root x. Where's my mind at today? <laughs> then minus 2 times the square root of x is just minus 2 square root of x. And negative 2, or sorry, minus 2 times 2, just minus 4. Up top, I'm just going to leave this the way it was before. Square root of x plus 2 over here. And so we have the limit as x approaches 4. And yes, we unfortunately have to copy and write down the limit as x approaches 4 every step of the way. Fantastic, right? So square root of x plus 2 all over. Now, these guys are just going to cancel out. The 2 square root of x minus 2 square root of x is just 0. So they just cancel out, they're gone. And we end up with x minus 4 in the denominator. Now look at this. We have x minus 4 up top, x minus 4 down at the bottom. They can just cancel out because we can just essentially divide top and bottom by x minus 4 so that they're both gone. And look at this. Now we have lim as x approaches 4 of the square root of x plus 2. Now because we no longer have a denominator, we can just plug in the 4 for x and get rid of the limit altogether. So that's the square root of, sorry, the square root of 4 <laughs> plus 2. And the square root of 4, of course, is just 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So that is the limit as x approaches 4 of this expression. And that's how we find the limit through rationalizing. And going back to, to the start here, why did I choose the square root of x plus 2? Just because I knew that that being a minus and that being a plus, that once I distributed and expanded, these would cancel out. And we would get rid of the radicals altogether. So go ahead, try some questions. Remember that you're going to need to be multiplying radicals by switching the signal. And this is called the conjugate of this. So the square root of x plus 2 is the conjugate of square root of x minus 2. And um, so good luck. In other instances, you might have to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator, just as a, as a heads up. But we're going to come across that, and I will explain it in different videos. So don't forget to scroll down.
click on the questions to watch explanation videos. And again, best of luck.